Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. Good afternoon, everyone. Our breaking news is out of East Point this noon, where we have confirmed that a student has been hurt at East Point High School. And that does top our news here at noon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Rhonda Walker. School officials are telling us that there was some sort of incident this morning involving two students. One of them is in police custody and the other is in the hospital. Larry Spruill joins us now live. And Larry, is that student expected to be okay? Yeah, Rhonda, that's the good news. We are told by school officials that that student is supposed to be OK. Now, the scene is clear right now, but let's take a look at some of the video from the scene from earlier. All of this happened around 10 o'clock this morning. According to school officials, we are told that the incident happened inside of a classroom involving two students here at East Point High School. One of those students is in custody. The other one was taken to a hospital with non life threatening injuries. And of course, the investigation is still ongoing, but we are hearing that all other students and staff members are safe and school will be dismissed at a normal time. And that's pretty much all the information we have for right now from school officials. We are reached out to the East Point Police Department. They tell us that a statement is coming later on this afternoon. So we are waiting to hear from that as well. School leaders are telling students here not to talk to the media due to information reasons. So we are just trying to get as much information as we can. But once again, two students were involved in some type of incident inside the classroom that one student stabbed the other one. He is in custody. The other one was taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. We are live in East Point this afternoon. Larry Sproul, Local 4. All right, Larry, thank you. Also